what is going on everybody happy new year my name is aaron and today we got a really cool special new year's eve treat um hope you guys are all stay safe doing well out there thank you all for tuning in um so this is a really cool purchase to kind of end a i would say terrible year um a couple of really nice moments i got married this year and uh but a lot of deaths a lot of just inconveniences a lot of accidents a lot of mishaps it was just kind of an awful year uh, but anyways, we're not going to dwell on the negative, we're going to dwell on the positive. This is a new year. I got this on New Year's Eve yesterday. Sorry about the wind. Um, I only looked up one or two figures in this entire this entire lot. Um, there was a picture that I saw on the listing. And uh, I thought it was uh, Unicron. And then I also saw this when I was driving. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to look that up and see how much it is. I just wanted to make sure it was worthwhile. Transformers are always worth the money. Um, so today we have a really crazy haul. Um, the reason why I actually have this is because I messaged the person on um, uh, Marketplace and uh, they said they had a Megazord for $20. It was literally five Zords combined into a Megazord and they were asking $20 for it. Now I just had that Zord. I had that Zord uh, Megazord. It was like a $225 Megazord with all the attachments and weapons and stuff like that. And he sold it for 20 bucks. So I was like, hey, do you have anything else? He's like, actually... I'm getting rid of my wife's son's Transformers collection. Would you be interested? I was like, yes, I would. Um, they just recently sold all of their Pokemon stuff on eBay, I guess. Um, they said they had no clue about any of this stuff. They told me they have a GameCube and they have some other stuff. So I'm definitely going to be in contact with them. They said they have a Black Rangers autograph on a Funko Pop or something like that or a figure. So uh, we're going to get into this, though. Uh, that'll be another video if I do end up getting stuff. But this was literally purchased on December 31st, yesterday morning. Today is now New Year's Day. Happy New Year's to everybody out there. I hope you guys enjoy this, this little nostalgic overload. So we're gonna start with this big boy, okay? We're gonna get this, this box out of the way. Let's put all this stuff over here. This one I can't, I just can't, I have to start off big. This is amazing. This has gotta be at least, what, 14, 15 inches wide and long. This is supposed to be, I think, Supreme Class Starscream. Um, absolutely incredible. His head's here. This is when he goes into the sky. So, I mean, obviously anybody who's used to watch the show Starscream turns into a spaceship or a jet, depending on if he's on land or in um, space. And this is just incredible. I don't know if the cockpit opened. I'm guessing it doesn't. But uh, I have yet to transform or even look through this box. I know there's a Unicron in here. And I, I can see, I think there's another one that I have already. But um, this is going to be a surprise as much uh, for me as it is all of you out there. So stick with me. The suspense is going to be real. Um, so this is beautiful. This is amazing. I've never had a star screen like this I do have a masterpiece star screen, but never I never own this one. So we're gonna put him to the side um, We're just gonna go through this this box um, I can already see one that's freaking amazing. So I don't know all the names of these so please forgive me um, We'll go to go that smaller stuff. So this right here is a transformer That is uh, I don't know if the video is showing this up close or not um, I might have to put the camera a little closer. So he's got some sort of like bulldozer thing on the front or like a uh, the bull cat the cow catcher thing on the front and it's got a drill as well as a, another drill with uh, these uh, These claws I guess snap back and I think there's a cyber key that you can actually put in it, but um, so he's pretty cool um, Don't really know much about him, but I uh, love the colors. I love the turquoise I tried to look I think I tried to photo I take a take a picture of it and see if I could find it and I couldn't find it So we'll have to look for the date and I'll have to figure out what it is um, Really cool colors. I love the translucent ice turquoise color um, pretty decent size. I would say probably either leader class or Voyager class um, Not I don't know a lot of the terminology about transformers. So again, please forgive me. We're gonna get into this So I see some instructions in here. So this one does come with a cyber planet key. This one's dope um, Let's see if there's actually let's See if there's actually Optimus Prime there, but oh my gosh with that big Optimus Prime in here I'm gonna freak out Cybertron robots in disguise Optimus Prime. That's a massive Optimus. So who's this? Brimstone. So Brimstone, I know I know because I have Brimstone. I had Brimstone. It's a pterodactyl. So there's two there. So this is like a little, I don't know if you can see it, but this is like a, a little uh, motorcycle or a chopper. It's got the cyber planet key. It has this flip up. Uh, I guess you pull that out and it flips up the rockets. Um, I'm just hoping it's not broken, but we'll have to see. Um, so anyways, it's a small little chopper and motorcycle there. Pretty freaking cool. Um, some micro masters or some target masters or whatever. This is a little APC slash like SAM or like surface data missile turret. Pretty awesome. This is an Autobot. Um, so this little box here, we're going to go big and small. This one I have, I just can't remember his name. He turns into like five different things. He turns into a space station. Um, he turns into a robot. He turns into a drill or some sort of 
He's got a big staff with a big claw or digger on it. He's massive. I have him somewhere. I just can't remember his name. I do have him in the garage. Um, so this turns into like this is a bulldozer guy. He he gets really tall. I think he's like 18 inches tall, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but check him out. He's this is the size of my hand. This is the size of him. So that's that's awesome. I mean, just to get a transformer that's this big is amazing. I mean, he doesn't turn into anything like a spaceship or anything like that. I think it's a space station or a battle station. He turned into some sort of um, construction machinery and he turned into a robot. And I think he's actually a combiner. I think you can make a bigger version with him. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, man. Oh, sorry. This is uh, this is Barricade from 2006, the first movie. Dude, that's sick. The Celine Mustang or, yes, yeah, Celine uh, freaking police car. Um, some of these aren't put together 100% properly. Um, that is amazing, though. I've never had him either. That's cool. I think I just, just, I think I just ruined it. So we're just gonna put them aside for now. I think I just kind of popped it apart and now it won't go back together. Um, what else we got here? So this Optimus Prime is pretty cool. Optimuses are always neat. Um, I'm gonna pop his head out. His head wasn't sticking out. There we go. So he's not all, he's not 100% there right now. Um, Optimus, there's his arms, his smokestacks. I don't know. You're gonna, you have to bear with me on this one. But this is Optimus Prime. Um, I don't know what studio. I don't think he's Studio Series. I mean, I have no idea. Maybe Voyager. I don't know. Uh, Voyager leader class, but uh, he's he's not super big. He's pretty cool though. I like when they put the translucent stuff on his head, so when the sun comes into his head, his eyes actually light up like he's uh like he's like his all sparks lit up. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I know I'm trying to go through it kind of quick. There's actually a lot in this box, big and small. I see a big Megatron here. Holy cow! Um, this one's actually not the newer. Oh, this is not the overtly purple one. This is actually like a, a metallic, shiny green and purple one. So. This is not the one, this is not the Beast Wars ones that you got in Walmart like a year or two ago. This is actually metallic purple and metallic green. And uh, this is Megatron Beast Wars. That is amazing. I really wish he was in the new movie, but you got to save a villain for like the sequel or the, you know, whatever. So this is Megatron. That's amazing. He still has his rocket in his mouth. That's cool. That's a big tongue. I don't even know what that is, but he does chomp. That's freaking awesome. That's Megatron here. I, I knew I saw a T-Rex in the, uh, the listing. Oh yeah, I gotta pull his feet out because he ain't gonna stand up. He's got like high heels on. Check that out. There we go. And his tail's jacked up, but you get the picture. Um, let's move into some smaller ones. I actually have this one. I'm hoping the cyber keys with it. This is like this this um, Cybertron one. Um, you had they have these little things called cyber keys. It's a plastic thing with a couple teeth on it, and it slides into a spring-loaded mechanism, and it kind of like it'll flip out this blade, or it'll flip out a weapon, or it'll flip it'll flip out a sword, or something like that. So. That one's pretty cool. Don't remember the name of this one. Um, I do have him though. Uh, this is a tiny little freaking bumblebee. Like he's like really tiny. Like this is like matchbox size bumblebee. Um, pretty awesome. I hope you guys can see this. I did put it in 4K. I wanted to make sure the sun was hitting. Um, another one of those like micro masters or target masters. This is another. This is an Autobot. He's a little. He's a little tank. That's freaking cool. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm sure if you guys know any of the names of these down in the comments, uh, just please, you know, leave, 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 uh, leave your opinion or what you think they are in the description from what you can see. This is a pullback one. This is one of the ones where you can pull it back and it like it zooms forward. This is Decepticon. Don't know what this one is, but hopefully you guys can see it. Um, this is pretty cool. I'm trying to show it to you without uh, it blowing my face out or blowing the item out. Please don't. It's winter outside in Virginia. Even though it's 55 degrees, the wind is still a little chilly. Um, I know that people are going to like this one, so you know what, we'll just dump this out here. Um, this, one can, this one can go somewhere for now. This one I know is the Millennium Falcon because they told me the Millennium Falcon Star Wars one was in the bag. So I've never seen this one. I do actually have the Venator class in the... Oh, what? Why is he in pieces, man? Why is he in pieces? I'll put that in my pocket for now. This is the Millennium Falcon. That's freaking awesome. Let's see if we can try and put this together a little bit on camera. They tried, it looks like they tried to do it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this on camera, but this is the Millennium Falcon. That is the cockpit. These are the front uh, nodules. This is the rear of it. Man, this is complicated. Anyway, so that looks like it hooks into there and his head, is his head spring loaded? I don't know, but that's the Millennium Falcon. Um, they made some freaking cool toys back in the day. This is the, I think that's the front of the ship that goes up here. Um, or maybe that goes... That might go like back here or something. But anyways, that's the Money and Falcon. It's in pieces. Um, rest in pieces. I will fix that later and figure out how it goes. It looks like stuff snaps together. And maybe they tried to like bend stuff and it just kind of fell off. 
his fists come out. That's cool. I have the Venator class one that has uh, uh, Anakin, and then um, it turns into a Star Destroyer, and it has Darth Vader. So it actually is uh, two ships and two robots. So it's really cool. It's supposed to come with two lightsabers. I only have one. Um, there's some freaking cool ones in here. I'm pretty sure I had this one, and I just sold it for a fortune. Uh, not a fortune, but so this is Jetfire. I'm pretty sure this is Jetfire. This one's amazing. I just sold this one, I think, for like 240 bucks. I I don't just sell all of them all the time. I do keep a lot. I have a ton in there, like Godzilla figure, but I do have like duplicates and other ones that I've actually owned before. I like the uh, uh, the experience of photographing them and transforming them, and uh, you know, writing a description about them and stuff like that. So, um, not 100% sure. I don't remember how this goes. I think this clips onto the bottom. So this is supposed to be like an A10 Warthog or a, a Thunderbolt. So uh, something similar to, you get the picture, I'll have to figure it out later, but that is supposed to be an A-10 Warthog. It's it's really freaking cool. It's supposed to have a bunch of missiles. His his um, wings are supposed to be longer. They're supposed to flip out and extend. So hopefully those are in here, but so far I'm really happy with my purchase. I don't remember if I told you guys. So the biggest one that I inquired about, sorry about that, the camera just kind of went sideways and fell off the stand. Um, it's super windy out here. I think I'm pretty sure I have this one too. Uh, this one's really cool. I don't know if this is called Night Prowler or Prowler or something like that, but this one's supposed to be like a wolf. He's supposed to have a, um, he's supposed to have a tail that sticks out that actually is like a sword. It's like an energy sword. It's like orange, I think. Um, there's a massive one in here. Let's go with a couple smaller ones. This one looks like a tank or a helicopter. This one, looked, these definitely look like combiners. Here's a little street bike. And here's a tank guy. He's missing an arm. There's a little dump truck. This guy looks like a, I can't tell what this is. There's a lot of pieces missing, so I really hope that they're in here. Here's a cube. It's literally just a square. I have no idea. Triceratops. I'm hoping that's like sludge or slug or something like that. Sludge. I think that's Triceratops there. He's an Autobot. We're going to go faster because it's actually kind of chilly out here. Um, and then to put all these little small pieces back in the boxes and stuff. I don't really know what all these go to right now, but if I definitely have the smaller ones in there, I'll be happy. Um, so what else do we got here? This one I've never, ever seen before. This is a Decepticon. He looks like a tracked... He's got some big claws on it. I don't know if it's like Devastator or not, but he's, is he a truck? Oh, this might be Megatron. He's a truck. He's a truck with treads on it or a tank. I don't know. Dude, he's cool. He's got some big claws on him. So um, maybe it's Scourge. I don't know, but you know, I'm just, my guess is as good as anybody else. I mean, people obviously know more than I do. I just, just kind of winging it here. Um, this is really cool. Does this go up? I don't, I don't know if that goes up or not. But that's freaking awesome. He's huge. I love the bigger Transformers. Um, the smaller ones you always seem to kind of break. The bigger ones are kind of made with more tolerance. So, oh, this is neat. This is Bone Crusher from the movie. I think this is Revenge of the Fallen. So this is Bone Crusher. Hopefully he's got the top to him. But that's I think that's Studio Series Bone Crusher. He's actually like a fifty dollars Transformer. I had one of these, and he's got the decal in it. This one says, "Yep, Bone Crusher." It's got a dog with uh, fangs. The front, the fangs uh, uh, coming out of his mouth. So that's really awesome. Hopefully they're not watching me through the door making fun of me. Um, this one is amazing. Is that a... Whoa! Is this Megatron? Look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. It's even got a working scope on it. Oh my God, it's got a green scope with a crosshair in it. It, it clicks, so it's got to be electronic. There has to be batteries in here. Never in my life have I seen this. This is amazing. There's like a... This is cool. It's a pistol. That's really cool. Don't aim it at anybody. That's, that's super sick. It's got the Decepticon on the scope or the sight. Um, what else do we got here? Oh, man. I have the... I think I just dropped a part of the helicopter. I think that's rescue, actually. This is sick. Is this Scourge? This could be Megatron, too. I have the orange and red version of this. This is a... Be I, I kind of want to keep this one. This is... Uh, don't know what this is, but... That's uh, that's amazing. I love the colors in some of these. I love the the blue, the blue with the, the blue and white wings. That's pretty. I, I'm pretty sure I have the three headed uh, the three headed Hydra dragon one. And there's I think there's like an orange and red one. Don't have this one. This is amazing. It definitely is electronic and lights up too because it's got a button on there and it's got a speaker box on the bottom. So it looks like it takes uh, one, three, one point five watts battery. So that's a beautiful uh, transformer right there. There is a massive one on the bottom that I didn't realize existed. I think that actually not existed, but that I had. I think it's the Optimus Prime, and it looks like there's actually multiple. This is Rescue right here. I'm pretty sure I just threw his wing in there, and it looks like his wing is broken. So, or his, uh, that'll have to be something that I fixed. It looks like somebody tried to force it, and it broke, but this is Rescue. I'm pretty sure it's a 
paratrooper helicopter that has like working um these working little pontoon things it's got a helicopter blade on top it's got the uh grappling hook on it that's really neat so uh what else we got in here this is cool okay this is cool this is this <laughs> this is unicron this is the planet that's oh my god look at that it just stands up that's amazing i don't know how this okay wow the whole okay the whole planet just comes that's that's crazy the whole planet just opens up and comes alive that's cool i don't know if there's a that's amazing this is a heavy this is weighs like i would say at least three to four pounds this is a big heavy just dense transformer never in my life have i seen this so that's cool i haven't seen a lot of these um i guess i grew up in the early you know 90s mid 90s 2000s playing with these things beast wars and transformers and stuff like that and a lot of them have come out based on the movie based on the new tv series netflix shows i mean i grew up watching the original like 80s and 90s transformer shows and beast wars and the ascent insecticons and all that the predacons and stuff like that so they're now just you know they're make, they're remaking a lot of the older toys too um what else do we got here optimus primal with his face missing oh i found it and i found bone crusher's claws that's cool you always want to have complete transformers um what is this what is this face trim he looks kind of goofy why does he look like the gorilla from madagascar or something I don't know what's going on with him, but that's his face. His face is definitely missing something. Um, I think it's just bear with me one second. I think I got it here. I think I got it. His face is supposed to flip up and the neat the things are down. There we go. That is a different Optimus Prime. Well, that's cool. This is so these retro ones, this one right here, these are the ones that they just re-released a couple years ago. This one looks completely different. He's got red and white on him, and he's like metallic with light purple with like metallic dark green. And this one, I, these just look completely different. The new Optimus Primal does not look like the cartoon from like Kung Fu Panda or like uh, Madagascar or one of those shows. So that's cool. So like I said, they, these when they made these, they remade them because they're a bigger Transformer because the movie was coming out because Beast Wars, you know, it's big yellow box, red lettering, and uh, it's Megatron and Optimus as a gorilla or a um, silverback gorilla and uh, T-Rex. So. Um, obviously, I, they, I'm pretty sure that's why they remade these. This is amazing. I think I had this one too in a different color. Um, they obviously have different uh, names, the different colors, because um, sometimes they have different colorways and they don't change the name. I don't know the name of him either, but I'm pretty sure I had this one before. I think I have a yellow lion with that tail um, that comes off and that's his sword or his whip. So really cool transformer there. Um, not 100% on all these names. Uh, I got. I, I apologize. I I bought all these for $80. So what happened was that Megazord was $20. And he's like, I have a Transformers collection too. I don't really know anything about it. And he goes, I don't know. How's the $80, $100 sound? And he goes, that's cheap enough, right? It's like, would you happen to do like 80? I said, I live like 45 minutes away. Um, and I didn't really know what was there in the pictures. What they took like sideways pictures. They took like a picture here and then they overlapped and overlapped it. So, I mean, I couldn't really tell which ones are new Transformers and which ones are like, you know, which ones I was looking at, if they were the same as the picture before, if there was duplicates. Excuse me, I just had supper. So I paid $80 for all these. And the only reason why I looked up one of them, I looked up this one. And I was like, okay, that pays for more than half of what I just paid for everything here. So um, I wanted to make sure it was worth it because, you know, if I'm selling a bunch of stuff like this that's missing arms or missing weapons and stuff like that, you know, this is really cool. This looks like something like Tyco would make, like Battletech or something. That is really neat. The sun's going down. It's getting real low, good fella. So, um, I'm super excited. I, I'm I, my energy is off the charts. I love this stuff. I love the build quality of it. I love the vehicles. I personally like the planes, and the Star Wars ones are awesome. That gun one is amazing. I love dragons. I love T Rexes. So, I mean, you know, like stuff like this is pretty cool, but it's not as much as like, you know, the Millennium Falcon or that A10 that I that I grew up loving. So, um, we got a couple big ones coming up. This one is, wow, that one looks cheap. That one looks weird. So this is a bulldozer or a bucket loader. So that one's pretty cool. It kind of looks like a John Deere tractor, but pretty neat. Um, different, like I said, I've never seen before. It's got a wheel on the back, so I'm sure it turns into some sort of rolling robot or something. Um, I'm really hoping there's more instructions and uh, weapons in here because I ain't looking too good. Um, so this is one of the wings to jet fire. This is the other wing to jet fire. This is awesome. Don't know who this is, it's Decepticon, so it's probably one of the, uh, it, I don't know if it's Starscream, because he's orange and gray, but it could be Starscream. Really cool, looks kind of like an F-16 Falcon, maybe like an F-18 Hornet. Um, pretty neat, like that one a lot. I love the Jets ones. I love the ones that look more like the real, like, 
a real item like this looks kind of like you know um, a real helicopter that exists this looks like a real military like minesweeper or, or that exists so I like those I like those a lot I like it a lot this one is the brimstone one that I talked about earlier this is the uh, one where the instructions is I'm hoping they said there was a ton of instructions and a ton of weapons so not really seeing that but this is brimstone this is the uh, this is that's it's supposed to be is they did this wrong so they're supposed to have his tail flicking out so that goes there I, I have this one so I know how this one kind of works apologize for the truck um, this one goes there so his feet hang out so that's really sick I love the translucent wings on him um, pretty awesome figure there I, I, I just I just sold him I, I had him um, really cool figure he's translucent with gray and purple um, that's pretty dope So this is, it looks kind of like a Ferrari actually this is really neat this I might have this might be hot rod actually because I know I have crosshairs I have a crosshairs and he's a Bugatti Veyron this kind of looks like a Ferrari cross with a Lamborghini not 100% but it definitely is a Cybertonian vehicle really cool um, there's no weapons with these for some reason so this foot looks like it goes to something Power Rangers related that definitely looks like a Megazord foot uh, what else we got we're saving some of the bigger ones for last um, we got a few more bear with me this looks like I have this one too actually so you take this off and the wheels should stay up it's like a monster truck um, so some of these won't the, some of these won't stay if you don't pull that key out but it's you know cool colors translucent red with purple and green looks kind of like a grave digger oh, man there's two of there's two of these there's two of these oh my gosh this is Optimus Prime <laughs> I'm just gonna do these now screw it are they different or they're the same they are different colors this goes to the dragon that looks like the dragon's tail these are two different colors this one is gray and silver and this one is gold and uh, blue these are cool these are massive optimus primes i have one instructions but i have two optimuses so this one's got blue windows this one's got blacked out windows uh, i'm guessing these probably have some sort of cyber key or they flip back okay they turn into a ladder Okay, that's really cool. Definitely a Cybertonian looking uh, fire truck there. Uh, these are pretty neat. It looks like he's got wings. I wonder if these actually turns into Optimus Prime with a jetpack with wings. That would be dope. I don't know what he turns into. Uh, let's look that up real quick. Let's see what he's got. Because there's got to be, this is a big instructions. Thank you all for sticking with me. I'm sorry. This is kind of like a all over the place video. Um, Yep, okay, so it's the robot and the back engine part um, turns into wings with a jetpack with the guns that flip over. Oh, uh, amazing. So there's some more Cyber Planet keys in here. I have this one. I'm pretty sure I have this one in green. He's missing his tail. Um, is a Raptor or something like that. And uh, this one right here is another one of those Constructabots ones. He's a backhoe, I think. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so there's a little push button thing and the thing goes up. So. The tracks go down and then so this little bucket moves um getting a little cold out here we have um and then we have a whole bunch of this looks like it goes to the top of unicron yep look at that and then this is like an sr-71 blackbird blackbird so i'm hoping that they find more instructions um that'd be super cool if they did because some of these are missing a lot of parts and uh i don't i, I like having complete transformers so um hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i mean 80 bucks is pretty good for this come on you buy something like this in the store, it's a hundred or something dollars. I mean, I've never even seen most of these. I have a couple like this one and that one and a red version of that one. But the rest of these, super cool. love going through this stuff. I bought them yesterday and I saved the suspense of opening these up today with you guys, um, whoever's watching, um, just to kind of share my nostalgic and uh, feels and uh, just kind of excitement uh, just going through here and seeing what I got. Like, he's missing a lot. Um, you know, he's, you know, he's missing his tail. So... Hopefully these people, they get back to me. Uh, super nice couple. And um, they probably they don't know much about this. So, I mean, if something goes to one of these things, they don't know if it's Power Rangers or Transformers or Ninja Turtles. They're not going to have a clue. So, um, I mean, I might get what I might get, get what I get. And uh, if I don't get anything else, I have to be happy with what I got. But for now, I'm super excited. I really do love these things. And uh, I wish you guys all a safe, happy, and healthy new year. And God bless you all. Thank you guys for tuning in. Check out my videos down below if you guys want. Uh, subscribe, comment, leave me a like on the video if you guys um, can. It would really help me out a lot. I'm trying to get my channel off the ground. I have a lot of videos and 
I'm known in the house as the guy who does the videos, who doesn't upload them. So I have a lot of videos that I have to post. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. This will be my first video of the new year. Hopefully I can keep the ball rolling. Again, thank you all, and uh, God bless. Happy New Year.